So can you tell us what the Section 22 means? So I just want to give a little clarity and I don't want to overwhelm the community. Uh, the first Section 22 order that we put in place was in response to this outbreak where we now have 30 members of our community uh, testing positive for COVID-19. Uh, we certainly have many contacts as well um, that have to isolate and monitor their symptoms because they're slightly higher risk if they've been in close personal contact with someone who was tested positive for COVID-19. In response, we wrote an order under Section 22 of the Health Protection and Promotion Act that prohibits persons from entering the premises of the commercial establishment or remaining in the premises if said person is not wearing a face covering and to ensure the availability of alcohol-based hand rubs at the entrance and exits for the use of all persons entering or exiting the establishment. That was to further protect and learn from this event um, uh, and to limit the spread of this virus. This, this order will stay in place. I think it's gonna keep us in a good position heading into the fall respiratory season. And I'm happy that our community is embracing this as a new community standard. Another order has been issued today, uh, again under Section 22 of the Health Protection and Promotion Act. We have heard anecdotally that some people that have been asked to isolate have not isolated. That poses a risk to the community. So uh, we put an order in place that an individual residing in or present in the KFL region who has been identified as diagnosed with COVID-19 or have the signs or symptoms of COVID-19, or have reasonable grounds to believe they have symptoms of COVID-19, or have been a contact with a positive patient, they must follow the public health instructions from our nurses and inspectors. They must isolate themselves and or quarantine for the time frame uh, that uh, of typically of 14 days. This is been put in place in many jurisdictions across Ontario, uh, in Toronto uh, and Hastings Prince Edward, uh, and we're putting it in now only because we have heard that some members of the community have not adhered to our recommendations. It's to further protect our community and anyone that is found uh, to have COVID-19 who has not isolated and or has been a contact and has been told to isolate can get fined up to $5,000 per day. It just further protects uh, our community. I have to say that uh, in the last four months, our community has been wonderful. The vast majority of individuals have adhered to all of the guidance that we provided. Uh, they have safely and effectively isolated themselves when they've been diagnosed with COVID-19. And it's only been a few examples uh, recently uh, that have um, mandated that we put this act in place. Uh, Again, this is in place in many jurisdictions in Ontario, and we're just embracing it now uh, because we've heard individuals haven't uh, adhered to our guidance.